Okay, it is 5 o'clock, coming up on 5.01, so officially we're about 40 seconds late to the game, but uh, hey, not bad, not bad, considering we got a whole new piece of equipment here. Oh, let me turn on the lights. Hey Google, turn on living room lights. There we go, that little backdrop going on. <clears throat> So we're going to talk about quality, folks. Quality, I see too many people compromising these days and, and buying junk and or buying ugly watches and sometimes paying a lot of money for them and sometimes paying too much money for a steel watch. So we've got to go over this again. We've gone over this before. We've got to go over it again, folks. People are making the same mistakes over and over again. Somebody posted that they were going to spend $15,000 for a Sea Dweller. <clears throat> sea Dweller's a nice watch, but I'm not going to spend $15,000 for a steel watch. I don't care what watch it is. $15,000, you can get an 18238 for that kind of money. Let's, um, let's see if we can pull up a picture of an 18238. Just for those that um, aren't familiar, here's one sitting with the money clip. Sitting with the gold money clip, that's an eighteen two three eight. You could you could pick one up if you if you're careful for around uh, fifteen thousand. I think in really good shape. They are going up, so you might need to act. You might need to act fast. That's what I'm saying. You might need to act fast. <clears throat> and I put CS in the in the bottom left, or is that to your right? I don't know. I get confused. You're supposed to put your name there and. But I don't see a way to delete that. I think you have to have something there. So I just put CS so it's just down in the corner there as, as out of the way as possible. Because you people know my name. I don't need to put my name on the screen permanently. Come on, folks. Okay, so let's see here. Um, <clears throat> Stig said good evening. And Bree is in the house. And she's timing things. She's saying that we're probably a little bit late. And we were. And a uh, bunch of folks are saying hi to, to each other. There's Kyle saying hi. And uh, cheers, Mr. Submariner. Yeah, he got a sub. He got a sub, but I think he paid uh, retail. I don't think he had to pay over retail for it. And let's see, Lance is in the house. And maybe he can call in today. And he's saying hi to a bunch of people. And Stig is in the house. Hi, Lance. You're looking fine on the live stream. Yeah, he's a classy guy. And uh, let's see what else here. Um, going to just blast through these real quick so I can get caught up. Uh, and it's 5 p.m. Time to go live. Dura in the house. Uh, new American flag cup. Oh, I had two, and I broke the one. <laughs> now I'm down to one. The 002 is the definition of quality. There you go. And... Uh, Craig, it's inflation. Get used to it. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. Uh, isn't an 18238 like 20 to 30K? I don't think they've gotten that high. Maybe some folks can chime in. Maybe Lance can find one and share it with us. Um, let me know if you send a link, Lance, and uh, we can bring that up and take a look at that. If you can find an 18238 in good shape, currently available, let's see what the price is. Buser says, I'm driving home. If you see me in chat, again, it means I'm texting and driving. Be careful. Be careful, my friend. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see here. Inflation. Okay, so <clears throat> this is what's going to happen. And I talked about this many months ago. I talked about this a year ago on the channel, folks. Things that you want to buy. We're going to be hit with inflation sooner than everything else. Things that are really desirable, expensive watches, uh, real estate uh, in good locations, nice pieces of real estate, stocks in companies like Apple. Um, gold has held its own, although Bitcoin, I think, is stealing some of its fire. Bitcoin, of course. Things that are limited in supply and that are desirable. That's what the inflation is really going to hit. And things like food. Uh, food is going to go up. <clears throat> We're, of course, gasoline because of the hack, but gasoline is going to go up. Things that are desirable that you need 
a lot of things that are just kind of like commodity items, like flat screen televisions and things like that, maybe not so much. Maybe they won't get hit as hard because they're so mass produced. But um, things that aren't mass produced and things that are desirable, there are going to be more dollars chasing those same items, and in some cases, a lesser amount of items. And so the prices have to go up. So I said a year ago on this channel, if you're thinking about buying a high quality timepiece like an 002 or whatever, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and buy the things you need. Uh, if it's pieces of equipment that you need, whatever you need, stock up on food items. I stocked up on a bunch of uh, canned goods and things like that, emergency rations, things like that. Because inflation, I think, is going to rear its ugly head big time. Dur says Joe Biden sucks. Well, you know, when you attack businesses, which is what they're doing, they're attacking businesses, it doesn't end well. Businesses are, are what fuel the whole economy and what hire people and pay people and so on and so forth and produce things. It's not a good idea to attack businesses, I don't think. I'm pro-business here. So, yeah, so that's the way that works. Um, so just emailed you a photo I took with my ancient iPhone do you have critiques, advice? Okay, we'll take a look. This is an interactive show. That's what we do on this show is we take a look. <clears throat> Let me see if I can pull it up here. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll critique this. Let's, let me share the screen, figure out how to do this on this new system here. Just give me a moment. And share screen. Share screen. Now I can share the Chrome tab. I can share this. I think this will work. Let's see if this works. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right. So I've got the, uh, the picture up. Let me make it full screen. Yeah, there we go. That's as full screen as I can make it, I guess. And so... <clears throat> uh, the only issue here is the backdrop. You might want to change your angle of photography so that you have a more interesting, less cluttered backdrop. I don't think the truck and the truck trailer and the pallets or whatever those things are on the left, I don't think any of that adds to the picture. And I don't think having a bunch of pavement in the shot either really adds to the picture. So it's not as much what you include in the photograph. It's all also as important what you don't include, what you exclude from the photo. So the photo of the flower looks good. It's just the other things in the background that, that kind of ruin the day, if you will. Um, so but you got potential. You got potential. That's right. You got potential. And so let me go back to here. And, oh, that's kind of cool. And do I flip it? Do I flip it like this? Oh, there, that's kind of cool. Playing, playing with the new toys here. Okay, so let's stop the screen share. Okay, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I like the new system. <clears throat> Muser says, I was going for the industrial theme. <laughs> there you go. Well, you could have taken a close-up of that Kenworth. It looks like it was a Kenworth. You could have taken a close-up uh, honing in on the cloisonne on the front and then you'd have the nice blurred background of the rest of the cab behind it that would have been kind of cool depending on how many smashed bugs are on the front of it so yeah the the whole canvas you have to look at the whole canvas and what's in that whole canvas um, okay well let's get back to quality here let's let's show a few more photos that we have here handy because we can uh, oh, let's put a um, let's put something on here for fun. We say we support local businesses, so let's put put this on here. Frederick.com supporting local businesses. There we go. And let's let's put this ticker on just for fun, and we'll take this one off. So this is TV worth watching. <laughs> oh well. Okay. So um, oh, we don't really need to leave that on there. You need to get a Grand Seiko. This is where you get your Grand Seiko, okay? 
give him a little plug, even though Steve didn't pony up for this new software. Um, okay, so let me go to brand here. Craig had to pony up himself. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're talking about quality. Here's the 002 with a faux pay. And there's, of course, the 002 with the faux pay and with the yours truly. And there's the picture we showed earlier with the 18238. And this was when I asked the question, should you buy a Rolex or Bitcoin? When, when Bitcoin was $11,000, some of you guys said I'd buy the Rolex. Looks like that was a kind of a shaky decision, if you ask me. And there are Brett, Kyle, and Leslie. We need them to call in again, talk about quality. And there's the lovely lady, Brianna, talk about quality. And there is the 002 with HD straps. Talk about quality times two. And there's that deploying clasp that is made in Italy. Yes, Grand Seiko farmed that out for the clasp, and it works great. They, did a, they made a good decision on that. And there's the HD strap. You go to hdstraps.com. And there is Leslie with that stunner that was given to her for her birthday. Little trip down memory lane here. And there is the 002 with the 231 diver, stunner, stunner diver. And Lucchese boots. Lucchese, these are the ones made in San Antonio. Talk about quality. Alligator, my friends. Yes, alligator. And there are some Sperry Topsiders made in Maine collection. Not easy to get, folks. Not easy to get. And here we go. Pass on ugly watches. Some of these are ugly. Some of them are not. See the one at the bottom center? That's not ugly. That's a Yacht Master. <clears throat> but there's a lot of ugly watches in that, in that montage. More ugly than not. People say, well, that's subjective. No, no, no. It's objective. It's objectively true that a lot of those are ugly. Here's a six-digit date date, a one one eight two three eight. You're gonna have to pony up, pony up a little more for that. It's got the solid center links. You have to pony up a little more. And there's the eighteen two three eight we showed earlier. There's a Grand Seiko Stunner. And Rolex Submariners for twenty twenty. Yes. And don't you think that steel? doesn't corrode. Sometimes it does. Sometimes you got to watch that steel. It's not as corrosion resistant as the titanium alloy that Grand Seiko uses. The titanium alloy that Grand Seiko uses in some of their sport watches like the 231 is more corrosion resistant than the uh, steel that Rolex uses. Any of the steel that Rolex has used, the 904 or the 316, any of it over the years, the titanium beats it. And here is the timeless razor, speak of the devil, that is titanium. Yes, it is. Titanium. And there you go. Grand Seiko. Grand Seiko. And the aforementioned Steve. The Stevester. And sport versus dress watch. What do you think? So those are the photos I have to share today in my repertoire here. Let's catch up on the comments. Um <clears throat> Uh, let's see. I just, okay. Um, no, I changed my mind and want to get a pre-ceramic no-date sub. This is Lance. Pre-ceramic no-date sub. I don't blame him for that. And the fella says it's a good idea. And, okay, so we're caught up. No new comments. No new action. No, Nobody's challenging my my positions here. Nobody's challenging my positions. That's interesting. Usually we would get some challenges. Uh, let's show, okay, by the way, this is brought to you by Frederick.com. Frederick.com, the place where you will find a lot of cool local businesses in Frederick County, Maryland, USA. Anybody with half a brain, they're, they're buying a place in Frederick County. Yes, Frederick County, Maryland, USA, even though it's becoming a socialist state. It's still Frederick. Frederick County is still a good place for now. For now. So, okay. <clears throat> uh, them boots were challenging. 
Okay, what do you mean by that? Uh, Sports Watch greater than Dress Watch says Durr. Says Durr. And if you're going to have one watch, you can have an all-arounder that will suffice as a Sport Watch and a Dress Watch, something like a Day Date that we talked about earlier. Maybe a gold GMT Master would suffice as an all-arounder. I don't think a steel watch is a good choice as an all-arounder. Matter of fact, I don't think steel watches are a good choice anymore, period. I don't see any place for a steel watch. It's a it's a um, affordable material. It's, it's not something that a luxury watch should be made out of. Luxury watch should be made out of 18-karat uh, yellow gold. Or if you want a heavy-use sport watch, get one made of the titanium alloy that Grand Seiko uses. In that stunner right there that's what you do you get that and that way you get the durability of the titanium the corrosion resistance of the titanium the comfort of the titanium and you you have a absolute tool watch at that point sounds like you know what's up let's see here Joel is in the house Joel is hanging out in the house and uh, Carlos is in Oregon, is in Oregon, hanging out. So there you go. And let's see what Durr has to say. I like, I like that Tudor, Tudor is making watches sterling silver, but hate the fact that it's Tudor doing it. I don't see a need for a sterling silver watch because, you know, silver is relatively soft. It, it, it's going to corrode. It's, it's just, uh, yeah, yeah I, I don't really see it. I just don't see it. I don't think it's a good material for watches. I would rather see the yellow gold utilized for that purpose. And Lance says he sent two 18238 date dates. We will take a look. We will take a look. All right. Let me pull this up. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. Just give me a moment here to pull this up. Privacy settings. Yes, I'll accept. I don't care about privacy. There's no privacy on the internet. What are you people, crazy? All right, let me see if I can share this. Share screen. Uh, don't show these tips again. All right. Um, Chrome tab. All right, we're going to share this one. There we go. All right, let's bring it full screen. And let's see if we can get this picture bigger. There we go. And it's not looking hateful. The, um, the way you can tell, a lot of times the fluted bezel will get kind of worn down over time. They don't get a lot of scratches, but they get worn down. This one looks pretty crisp. And the bracelet looks decent. Looks like it has a little bit of stretch there. If you look at the top part of the photo, that, that link next to the um, to the case there, you see a little bit of separation there. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. Um, nice looking dial. Nice looking piece. Now it does have, you notice it has the clasp that was a carryover from the um no i'm sorry i'm sorry this is an 18238 I was, I was thinking this was a six digit okay yeah so it's normal that it would have that clasp and then the early six digit ones had that same clasp and then they updated it to the new style in about 2004. so um so yeah this is a nice looking nice looking piece and there he's showing you the uh the amount of stretch to the bracelet it has a little bit more stretch than the one i had had but still not still acceptable now let's get down to the brass tax 17,995 that's a little bit up there it's a little bit up there for that watch I, I would have wanted it to be close to mint for that price of course it's still available it hasn't sold so that tells you something okay so let's um let's see if we can get the other one up let's do that while we can Give me a moment here. The second one is going to have the tapestry dial. And this one is on eBay. Let me toggle over. Um, give me a second here. And 
Chrome tab, eBay. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, so this is um, this puppy's on eBay. This one, you notice, it looks like it has a lot more wear to that bezel. See that wear? Okay, that this this puppy has been worn a lot, and so this one's way overpriced in my opinion, given the amount of wear. Okay, and a lot of a lot of separation in that bracelet. Not a lot, but a decent amount. And so, yeah, this one is is also uh, overpriced, in my opinion. And, of course, it hasn't sold. So there you go. Got two overpriced 18 238s, neither, neither of which have managed to sell, which makes sense that they wouldn't have sold. So, okay. Prices are up, though. They're asking a lot of money for marginal watches. Um, let's see. Oh, wow, I got behind here. Um, okay, what do you think of the Birch for an all-around watch? Birch, I'm not sure what which watch that is. I'm sorry, Joel. If you want to send a photograph to my name, Craig Ship, C-R-A-I-G-S-H-I-P-P, at gmail.com. Well, I'll be happy to sh bring it up on the screen and we can talk about it. So we'll talk about that if we get, get something to look at. And Carlos says, I can report that I had an encounter today with a police officer for speeding. I did not resist. And I can report that he was professional and I'm still alive. Whoa. All right. Did you give him some cash? Did you give, give over some payola? Let us know how that worked out. Did you have to give over the uh, Explorer to get out of that sticky situation? <clears throat> Kyle's in the house. Good to know, Carlos. Uh, how is everything else? <clears throat> Travis Rich at the gym, stopping in to say hi. Okay. Hi, hi, hi. <clears throat> Dara says, Carlos, uh, that's just common sense. When you comply, you don't die unless you overdose on fentanyl. <laughs> yeah, they railroaded that poor police officer. That's that's a damn shame what they did to that man. Okay, and Kyle says, hey, Rich. And uh, in the 80s, you could buy a DeLorean sports car in gold if you had an American Express gold credit card. Four of these cars were made, made as far as I know. Wow. What they weren't a very good car though. They had that Volvo V6 engine in them. They really weren't that good. Um, too expensive for an 18238. I got my 118238 for a lot cheaper than that. Yeah, but I think dirt. I think prices have gone up. I think they've gone up, my friend. I'm getting a lot of people saying that they're going up, 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 and it's probably because I've been talking about them a lot. I can take the blame for the prices going up a little bit. And then, of course, the inflation. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Stig says, Carlos, the police officer was stunned by your watch. And uh, Craig's voice helped me, helped me lift exactly 17.476% more weight. Whoa. That's pretty heavy duty. And BR here. Um, <laughs> So we're going to use BR for her initial. Yeah, that's right. And um, Kyle says, everything fine, but I will be $250 poorer if I pay the fine. Oh, wow. Wow, I'm still, gonna, I'm still waiting to get the ticket in the mail from my, my jaunt down to Montgomery County with Brianna to shoot at Brookside Gardens. We were coming back, and I saw that flash go off, the, the one, you know, that they have the cameras that take a picture of you. And I saw it. I said, "Up." Oh, I think that's seventy-five bucks, though. I think it's seventy-five bucks a flash. And I usually get them some weeks later in the mail. <laughs> oh boy, what a racket! What a racket! Okay, Bitcoin fixes all this. By the way, if we defund these criminals, um, they won't be able to do all these things. 
uh, History Boy, what's your favorite watch? Right now, the 002 Stunner, SBGY002, SBGY002, and the 231. Those are my two favorites right now as far as a sport watch and a dress watch. That's the perfect uh, sport dress rotation. Yes, yes it is. And Lance says hi to Triforce Rich. A thoughts on the new Sports 9F? I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them. But when I do see them, I will probably be able to copy, be able to comment. Okay, and then uh, Joel says SLGH005. And yeah, we, we have to talk about all those things. Um, let's see here. And Triforce says, sup, everyone. And Derek's in the house. Kevin, can you call in if you don't mind? Craig needs help making sure his new setup is working. Okay, I'll have to put the link in the uh, chat for people to call in. And new Sport 9Fs are overpriced and pretty bland, says Durr. So there we got an official report from Durr. <clears throat> And let's see, Kevin, if you can't call, Lance can call in. And let's see, who is Seferin? Uh, inflation is skyrocketing from such great leadership. Yeah, they're really, really doing 180 degrees the wrong thing. Can you, well, I'm shocked that the government would, 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 generally speaking, do the wrong thing. My Rolex AD did tell me a couple of weeks ago that if they had six day dates available in the case they would be available to sell all six of them by the end of the they would be able to sell all six by the end of the day wow yep people are getting smart they're finally realizing that's the watch to buy see you all i'm continuing my drive okay do that and let's see i'm having trouble keeping up with the comments here see you all carlos watch the speed limit and craig you're on facebook and youtube yes uh, this should be on the Mid-Atlantic TV Facebook page, I hope. Uh, yes. Um, and Triforce Rich, the reality is whatever Craig owns at the time is the perfect rotation. The 005 used to be part of the Holy Trinity, but it's no longer welcome. No, I keep stepping up. I keep stepping up the game. If they come out with something better than the 002, I'll be looking at it. <laughs> Trust me, I will. Yeah, I step up. I step up. That's what we do on this channel. We step up. Life is too short to have a second place watch. I mean, just look at this thing. Look at it. Look how, how it lays on the wrist. I mean, it is absolutely, absolutely stunning by any definition. By any definition. And G. Pooh calls it the way he sees it. Craig only gets the best. Durr in the house, Grand Seiko collections, da 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 da. Yeah, but I can't click on that link, unfortunately. It doesn't let me. It, when I click on it, it puts it up on the screen. So it doesn't let me um, go to it. So, yeah. Well, maybe we'll do a show uh, another time going over all those watches. That's actually something Steve should do, to tell you the truth. But he's been dropping the ball lately, folks. I don't know what to tell you. I, I've done the best I can, but he's been dropping the ball a little bit. Um, let's see here. So, Craig, if GS came out with the exact 003 and date 8 combo you want, would you buy it if it retailed for 100K? Um, if they brought out the right watch that that uh, that we've been talking about, um, I think a hundred K would be overpriced. I, I think 30 to 40,000 would be reasonable. Uh, if they came out with, it should be in the same price range as a day date. Just, the, just the fact that it's going to have the spring drive in it and, and some improvements, you shouldn't have to pay that much more of a premium. Uh, and it should be, uh, uh, a highly produced watch they should it should become like one of their mainstays sort of like the snowflake is it shouldn't be a limited production you know all this nonsense it should be a regular production watch just like the day date but like kyle says with the bead of, bead of rice bracelet 
Um, basically, the same form factor as this 002, maybe a little bit thicker to allow for uh, auto wind and have an option for a date, but have it available no date and have a bead of rice bracelet, have a screw down crown, bead of rice bracelet with a real nice clasp situation possibly with some kind of an extension, if not a very easy way to take links in and out. Um, yeah, they could do it. They, they could do it. This is not an engineering impossibility. Okay, it is not. So, um, uh, let's see. Uh, He'd get a deal from Steve. Yeah, Steve would give me a deal, I think. He'll give any of us a deal. Steve wants to move watches. Craig, can you career the 231 with your 18238? I'm curious if there would be any compromises if you went with the rotation of 002 and date 8. Yeah, the legibility. I can't. It's not as legible, the date 8. Um, and I, I didn't pamper the date 8, but I didn't really use it as a heavy use watch either i mean that the the 231 is more of a heavy use piece so it's really we're comparing apples to oranges here but yeah the compromise would be lack of legibility would be the compromise uh i think the 002 is more legible than the date eight for example so um that that would be the big issue for me now for a younger person it wouldn't be an issue Right, my younger days, I wouldn't even have thought about it. <clears throat> well, the still version of the 002 is 15k cheaper than the gold version, and there's barely, I guess he meant any gold in it, uh, different dials. So GS isn't beyond unreasonable prices. Well, I think yeah, but anytime you have the gold watches, they're always a premium because they're they're made in, in lower quantities. And it is more labor intensive to make watches out of gold, even though some people say it's not. They're wrong. I'm right. I'm always right. So the, the gold watches are do come at a premium. Rolex is the same way. You're paying a lot more for that watch than the value of the gold that's in it. A lot more. So I think there's only two to three ounces of gold in a day date. Um, and so, um, yeah, you're paying a lot more of a premium for a gold watch. I think that's pretty much always been the case. Okay. Um, Craig, what happened to the 70s style station wagons? Good question. I had a really nice um, Buick. Was it a Roadmaster? Yeah, I think it was a Buick Roadmaster wagon. I had a nice one. And uh, maybe I'll pull up a picture of it. Let's see what else here. Craig, send an email with a link to the new GSs. Okay, we'll take a look. <clears throat> it's not a matter for high net worth individuals and myself when purchase a time speed over 40000 uh, Poor boys can complain. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're buying a luxury item, you're buying a luxury item. I mean, and life is short, right? Why not get what you want if it's available? We were talking about talking about buying quality. Okay, I got a couple of emails here to catch up on. Lance sent a Concord, and uh, so let's take a look at this first and share screen. Let's just go ahead and share the whole screen. Nothing wrong with doing that. We can do that. Okay, so here's a Concord. It's a nice looking uh, case, and it's an auction. So we don't know what it's going to sell for. It's at $431 right now, but you know, who knows what it's going to sell for. If it would sell for, you know, 5 or 600 bucks, it'd be nice to have a a gold a gold dress piece like that for somebody. That would be a, a you know, cheap enough to have a nice dress watch in 18 karat gold. Yeah. I see why not. I don't say why not. It's got a lizard strap on it. Let's see what the size is. Lance always comes up with some interesting stuff. Let's see what the size of this thing is. Let's see. 
lug uh, end to end 40 mil, but what a 34 mil case. So, so yeah, that'd be good for like a ladies or a man with a small, smallish wrist. That would be a good size. So that's the way we would do that. All right. So, um, stop screen. Now let me go back and see, get caught up on these others here. Okay, the sport collection. <clears throat> All right. And the sport collection. If somebody wants a massive watch, that's a that's a wild watch. Okay. I like this O two one. I like this piece. I, I'm not a big fan of this case style, but some people like it. But I mean, I've seen a lot worse, right? I've seen a lot worse. I like the dial. I like the bezel. I like the color. There's a lot of things I like about it. Um, whoops. Did I just kind of screw up? Uh, we went back to the collections. Okay, here we go. So I like that. This one is similar, but, you know, same case. So, yeah, I'd probably go for the blue, but the red's kind of cool. This one's kind of cool, but, again, the same case. See, I like this, this rounded case better. This is the stunner that um, – this is similar to the one that Steve's wearing, but Steve's does not have the gold pushers and the gold crown. And I think that's – pushing it a little bit literally to have the gold here it, it's and look at that eighteen thousand dollars that's just that's just too much so no I, no i would get the one like steve has and so what do we got here this is a nice looking piece i think that's classy looking i like the gold gs of course my watch has that and i like the uh the 24-hour hand being gold I think it's kind of cool looking. Of course, the photos are terrible on these websites. So it's going to probably look a lot better in person. But yeah, I, I think it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Okay, so let's see what the price is on this one. 6700 that's not terrible at all. That's not terrible. All right, let's see what else. Um, we don't need this one for forty-four thousand. We'll pass on that. This one here for sixty-two hundred. That's a nice-looking piece. This one, the blue one. We've talked about these before. This is a nice-looking piece. This might be. This might be the one that I would go for. That's a nice-looking piece. Nice case, right? Good price. I think that would be a good move. Let's see how thick this is. 14.7 thick. So it's a little thicker than my watch. That's disappointing. That's disappointing. But, you know, for people that don't mind that, it is what it is. Um, it's interesting. They came out with a limited edition diver that's $11,000. I don't know why you would buy that over the 231. And they still have the 231, still the same price. They haven't raised it. That's good. If you want something kind of fancy, this is a kind of fancy piece. Kind of fancy. 11500 I'll tell you, it looks pretty cool. They've got some nice options. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, uh, oh, oh, I think he sent another one for me to look at. Let's try to get caught up here. Um, okay, we've, we've caught up with that. And let's look at the Crador that uh, Lance sent. <clears throat> Uh, 
Okay. This is a nice looking piece. And that's a buy it now price of twenty seven fifty four. That's a nice looking piece. Again, more for the lady, I think, because it's going to be a smaller watch. And I still like the one that, that Brianna got better, but this is interesting. Nice and thin. Signed clasp. So let's see what the size is of this one. Doesn't say, but it's it's probably pretty small, but you know, probably thirty four mil, thirty three mil, something like it'd be perfect for a lady. All right, stop sharing. Okay, Lance does a lot of research. Um, French suits, French suitcases. I haven't had any. <clears throat> I think, you know, obviously a, a, a nice vintage Vuitton is, is very nice. Um, personally, I prefer like uh, original Halliburton, not the Zero Halliburton, the original Halliburton cases. They're very tough for traveling. Um, and what's the other one that I have that's Italian, the brand? Um, Am Amabilia, Am Amabilia, Amabilia. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. They're Italian high-end uh, cases. I have several of those. They're even better than the uh, Halliburton. So I kind of go that that route. Um, that would be a good size for a lady, okay, <laughs> or a lady boy. Um, not enough gold. <clears throat> I would take the Spring Drive GMT personally. They they look the same, but better case shape, okay. And uh, Craig, you're a fan of blue. Some, sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Uh, I wish some of these limited edition models didn't look like such turds <laughs> during the house. Um, do not ask on Lady Boys. I have them as a one-time use and throwaway. I have traveling for many decades. There you go. Um, let's see. I think it's 35 mil. I would agree, probably. Look at how tiny the crown is. Yeah, that that I don't like, and that's common on some dress watches. And I, that's one thing I like about the O2. It has a nice, robust crown, especially when you manual manually wind. You have to have that. Craig, I think you missed some of the comments. I probably did. I'm sorry, but I can't keep up with everything. I need a producer to help me keep up with things. Um, Craig, are you getting a day date with a rotation? Kyle is asking. Uh, okay, I saw your comment now. Okay, <clears throat> so I think this is going to be a short show, a shorty, a shorty but a goody. Um, let's show, let me get over here and see. I'm going to pull up, see if I can pull up the, uh, the Buick, the Buick. And here is the Buick that I had. Unfortunately, I don't have a big picture of it. That's, that's the only picture I still have, uh, from that, uh, vehicle, the Buick, Roadmaster. That was a low mileage vehicle. It was a great vehicle for, for running around and putting up banners and, and doing other things where you had to haul some stuff. Very comfortable vehicle. And I can't remember the model year. Maybe some of you guys can remember. I think it might have been, would it have been a 1973? I don't know. But maybe you guys can uh, can get a handle on that. Um, I just I just don't remember. Let's see if I have it down here. <clears throat> no, I don't. But anyway, that's the Buick with the road wheels and so on. That was a fun uh, fun vehicle. And what else did you guys ask about? Um, oh, the the bags. Give me a second here. Mm 
trying to find them, but having trouble here. Here we go. Okay. All right, so here's some, here's some of the uh, cases that I use when I travel. And this is a rather large case that has this wheeled unit on it. Um, it's a big case. And uh, you can see there, get kind of an idea of how large it is. It's pretty big. And you can see there, that's a Halliburton made in Los Angeles. That's how you can tell the good ones, the originals, okay? Um, they have that kind of a decal on them. They're the good ones, okay? All right, and... I have several of those that are originals. There's a couple of uh, camera bags inside a Halliburton. Talk about great protection for your gear. And those are Billingham uh, camera bags made in England. And there's the Halliburton again. And there's some of the other um, bags and, and cases and different things that I carry some of my gear in. There's another one that is, uh, again, a uh, original Halliburton. There's several cases different for, for carrying different gear. So, and that one on the top, that's the Italian-made um, am Amabilia. I don't, I don't remember how to spell it, but that's an Amabilia. Um, let's see here. Oh, and I also have the Ramoa cases, R-I-M-O-W-A. -R I have a few of those. Um, yeah, I've got to, I've got to get the, put the name on this description of that, that case on the top because they're really, really good. Okay, anyway, they're all in my Flickr photos, so you can check that out. Craig, you should get a vintage one like an 1803. I had an 1803. I had a, had one with a conventional clasp. I really liked it. That was my first 8.8. Eight. <clears throat> Let's see what else we got here. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, all right. 1803 is too old. Lady Bree has spoken, Craig. She just wants, she just likes gold. She likes anything that's gold. 1803 had a slimmer case. Some of them did. They, they were different. Some of them had the slimmer case, and, and some of them didn't. They, it varied depending on the year. Uh, but yes, you're right. Some of them did have a slimmer case. <laughs> Good call. Kyle in the house, Craig, uh, would know he owned at least one 1803. Um, all the day date cases are rather slim. Uh, if they were any slimmer, they would look like Lady Bory or a toothpick. <laughs> yeah, no, they varied. They did. They, they different from different years. They they were were different, and even some of the eighteen two three eights were different than other eighteen two three eights. It's kind of bizarre that way. It's just slightly though. Um, and and that and the fake Clive says why why why. And um, I can't keep them in stock these days. They're too hot. Um, all right. So we're going to wrap this puppy up. We made a lot of progress today. And uh, tomorrow's another day. Craig, is there a gold necklace for you somewhere in, uh, somewhere in the whole horizon? horizon? <clears throat> I'm not hip to that. Uh, I was asking Bree if uh, Fope made gold necklaces. You know, I guess you could stretch them and put them over your head. <laughs> um, I would rather get a pinky ring, a gold pinky ring first, and then maybe the uh, bracelet. Yeah, then maybe the bracelet. Um, lots of yes votes on here for you to get another date eight. Might have to happen. It might have to happen. But I would probably get one with the um, ceramic sleeves if I did that. So, yeah. 
and the O2 has great thickness. I don't like watches that are thin as paper. The O2 is a perfect thickness. It really is. It's just right. I think it's about 10 mils thick. For a dress watch, it's got a nice presence to it, a nice look, yet it's trim enough to go under any, any cuff. I'm telling you, they nailed it. They nailed it with this watch. I wasn't going to buy it. When I went over, I wasn't going to buy the watch. I was planning on observing it and filming it and all that and kind of telling Steve, hey, it's not really what I wanted. You know, it's close but no cigar and it's really expensive. I was planning on walking away. But when I saw it, it was like, oh, my God. I, like, I was like, I didn't tell Steve this. I said, I'm thinking to myself, I've got to have this on wrist. And so I played hard to get, and I negotiated and so on, and he gave me a good deal. And then after I got it and it was a done deal, I, I told him, I said, listen, Steve, if you'd have held out for a list, I'd have probably paid it. I wanted to watch so, so much because it is a stunner. And um, so, yeah, that's how that whole thing went down. Uh, let's see. Is any time we are talking Invicta inside your channel, I've never been inside no, we don't really talk about Invicta much. The 9937 is probably the best Invicta you can get if you can find a good one. <clears throat> Derek, people mistake my tutor for an Invicta. <laughs> um, does Steve uh, still have the other one? No, he sold it. Steve sold the other one. He doesn't have one in stock right now. All right, folks, we're going to wrap it up. I'm hungry, and I get mean when I get hungry. And there's the... Uh, the titanium stunner resting on a platinum one ounce coin with a one ounce gold coin off to the right and a silver coin just in the background there underneath it. Um, and so it's resting peacefully there on the bench on some uh, leather uh, coasters from Colonel Littleton. Colonel Littleton sells some really good leather stuff. If you guys want to Google that, Google Colonel Littleton, Colonel Littleton. He has some really cool stuff. So there you go. Keep going, guys. Keep making things happen. Be in motion. See you guys next time.